church, they should be greeted and be glad to be here. And it was probably our job to greet them with a smile so that they can start out their church experience um, knowing that uh, somebody cares that they're there. You can probably tell from my dialect accent that I am from England originally. I'm involved particularly with the ambience and environment of the church, which is uh, dealing with all the liturgical matters pertaining to the different masses and times of the year that we are involved in. And it's my job and my people on the committee, with the guidance of the priest, because I am on the liturgy committee as well, to figure out what, we, what we're going to do. We try to bring in something new. We're doing something new this year, and that is some of the banners that are going up and reflecting the year of faith. I think it's a ministry. Well, it is definitely a ministry, and I, people, the ministries people do tend to be reflecting whatever their gifts are. Among some of the things that we do and are responsible for, taking care of all the church linens, they, you know, they don't just appear magically, they're done every week by somebody, and I do those, and uh, that involves the ironing, getting the wine stains out, putting them back in the proper place so they're always available for the Eucharistic ministers and the priest. We're a learning and teaching and sharing and praying organization. It's a commission versus a committee. We're a group of faith-filled people trying to live the gospel in today's world. What that means is learning about the social issues addressed in our world. It means trying to address our environment and through prayer and action, trying to make a difference. In Matthew, Jesus calls us to feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, welcome the stranger, clothe the naked, care for the ill. Following in the footsteps of Jesus takes our belief in today's world. We research things, bring awareness and prayer to the St. Hubert's community. Some of us actually become active in the outreach programs. Becoming engaged in our faith is a wonderful experience. In the past few years, our group has helped invite St. Hubert parishioners to participate in every ministry through an annual ministry fair. We have so many opportunities to live the gospel. We are so blessed at St. Hubert. The committee uh, meets and discusses where the, the funds that we collect during the year, where they need to be distributed especially to those who are, who are in dire need. I think the committee members take a great deal with them in the awareness of the need in our small community for help, financially as well as spiritually. The Three Peace program was started by Father Rick to encourage our parish to donate personal products, paper products, and protein products. And so we have taken it on, hoping that we can encourage people to help the needy. The involvement with the Three Ps program and the collections is that I think it gives people a feeling of contributing and making them feel that they're getting closer to God. Um, we're a very active organization in the parish. We um, have at least Two events a year where we make funds for the parish and for community charities and we meet every month and the board also meets every month and we have a good time and <laughs> and uh, at the end of the year and in the middle of the year we distribute funds to different charities and the parish as it needs and we raise thousands of dollars for for those things we have a bazaar in October and we've had that for many years and um, that involves a lot of the members making things for this event and also others contributing things. And they've been making um, some quilt kind of items and pillows and things made out of fabric, um, like bags. And we have lots and lots of food that parish members will donate. In the past, we've had a fashion show, which was really popular because members of WASH and other people in the parish 
did the modeling, and, and that was really a lot of fun too. And it was another another fundraising event. A lot of our um, expenses are covered by parish members, by members of WASH, mm-hmm. and um, we have a budget for that, and we end up making a fair profit, which is really good for for the for the uh, causes that we support. When I arrived at St. Hubert uh, several years ago, uh, my main mission, this is something that I took on myself, was to get the choir to understand the spiritual side of it. And I say to them that this is a ministry. It's not some exclusive club that meets on Thursday night and sings on Sunday morning. And if they don't go away on a Sunday or from a rehearsal having taken something that's refreshing for the soul, then I need to know about it because I'm missing the mark. of St. Hubert. Uh, First and foremost, it is our responsibility to lead the congregation in its worship. And uh, we we like to uh, sing hymns that are well known to the congregation, tunes that they will be uh, singing throughout the week when they leave Mass on Sunday. And it is also important that the music we select the hymns that we select to sing, that they uh, underpin the readings for the day. I work with the religious education program from preschool through fifth grade, and then with the youth ministry program from sixth through twelfth grade. And that's developing faith formation, teaching them our faith, as well as fellowship and, and engagement within the parish. Fellowship is very important, especially for our young children and for our youth and our families, as well as the whole parish, because it brings in that element of fun and friendship and a connection and and the need to be together. Well, when it comes to the multi-generational uh, uh, collaboration, I, I guess I can only speak on our experiences, and that the biggest one that we have here is Vacation Bible School in the summer, where all of our volunteers are really a lot of our retired parishioners, and the smiles and the wisdom and the joy that they share with the children, and in turn, the laughter and the hugs and the the overwhelming joy on their face, it's, it's a win-win and a give back to each other approach. And, and so I think... I think that our parish does a really good job at sharing what we each have to offer, whether it's the younger or the older with each other, when we make it a point to do it. Doubt is the number one way we propel our our faith formation, is to explore and question and, and really investigate the doubt that the kids have or that our adults have or our families have or our parish has and and how we can overcome that doubt and and why we would want to question and bring up that doubt the most important contribution you can make i believe is is sharing 